Oh, I'm just, I'm just so excited. You don't understand. I don't know if it like shows through the screen, but like. I Hello everyone. It's Lily, and today in this video, I would like to summarize all of the announcements that were made at Automate Party 2022. But before I start, I would like to say a massive thank you to Kriya Ritzel. Um, her Twitter was actually what helped me a lot in my sort of collecting information regarding Automate Party because she went there and kind of literally tweeted about all the things she saw and the announcements that were made. So thank you so much. And remember that she is is a VTuber and is planning on doing Otome game related uh, streams so please do check her out I have put her tag in the description below also if you like visual novels if you like Otome games and if you just like fangirling over 2d guys then you come to the right place because I upload once sometimes twice a week and stream regularly so if that's something you're interested in please click that subscribe and bell button and you will not regret it but anyway let me start so firstly, many of you may actually be wondering what the hell Automate Party is. So Automate Party is something that is held in Japan um, by Automate, funnily enough. And it's an event where they bring all sorts of Otome game um, voice actors and hold like kind of staged events and stuff. I personally have not gone myself, so I don't really know the details, but it must be quite entertaining watching like VAs do these little um, acts like live as opposed to you know in an otome game or in an anime and uh, i think it's also in a way used to meet up with other otome fans because so many like accumulate into one place and it's an automate party that you also learn of new upcoming games and bits and pieces that you know everyone would just like to know and can get really hyped over it. and even um localized Twitter, <laughs> if you can call it that, was hyping over the unlocalized releases. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty big, like large scale event in the uh, Otome world. But anyway, so firstly, there are two games that are going to be ported onto the Nintendo Switch. Um, one is Senjo no Arutsu and the second is Princess Arthur. Senjo no Arutsu is actually about a girl who, of course, everything got taken away from her. It's like tragic events and stuff. Um, but one day, basically, she decides to take hold of this uh, cursed sword, I believe, and it's sort of like to protect herself and her friends. And because of her new newly found powers she then ends up being invited to join a military school and therefore ends up living on the battlefield now i have not played this game so i don't actually know you know the full details but it looks like it's kind of a bit maybe tragic i don't know like military school it's really hard to say really but it looks very like fantasy ish and i don't know it, it looks fun so it's on my radar now the second one is princess arthur uh, princess arthur is set in this world where you know there's only one king and then um, something happens whereby they need to pick another um monarch basically and you know there's this sword that if the person the sword basically chooses the next king and all these different people tried to pull out this sword none of them succeeded apart from the main character who is a girl and uh, so she ends up you know being kind of brought into the world of <laughs> rich people i'm imagining and um yeah it's probably quite hard for her given she was a peasant and not anyone you know of the upper echelon of society I guess I really don't know I've only seen the like read the plot um, but I think the love interests are primarily the knights of the round table and you know it, it, it looks again it's a very fantasy fairy tale-esque looking kind of um, game so I'm really it, again it's on my radar <laughs> they're all on my radar now moving on to the games that were announced for like a completely new games that are announced for release I've got it on my phone because my brain is like the size of a pea and is terrible at retaining information The first one is My Nine Swallows Now I'm not gonna lie <laughs> This one <laughs> I, when I saw the teaser I was like what the hell is this? Basically Automate is collabing with Yakult Yakult Sorry, let me get my notebook out now because I can't. <laughs> okay, what 
Tokyo Yakult Swallows, right, that's it. So Tokyo Yakult Swallows and Otome are collabing. And I, when I saw Yakult, I thought it was like the drink, you know, the little drinks that you can get. And I was like, Yakult is collabing with Otome. And, um, but no, it's basically a baseball themed Otome game because it's a baseball team and Otome collabing. And um, it looks really obscure to be honest because it said that it's a baseball themed entertainment a, a new type of entertainment that involves baseball or something but like i don't understand how you can get baseball and like entertainment and by entertainment it looked like kind of like idols and stuff so they've combined baseball and idols together and the main character is a manager so yeah, I really, like, I've never felt so confused by an Otome game before. So, although it's not my cup of tea, because it gives off, like, shonen jump, like, sports anime vibes combined with idol stuff, the art was kind of cute, and, like, I definitely will be interested to learn what other people think of this game, because, yeah, idol and baseball. <laughs> Anyways, that's the first one. The second one is Alice of the Land of Spades, Wonderful Black World. So this game is actually, so there was actually a Alice of the World, Alice of the Land of Spades, uh, Wonderful White World um, last year. And I believe this is like the second part. Um, Spade, Alice of the Spade, <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Alice of Spades. Alice of Spades is about a girl that ends up in this world of Alice in Wonderland essentially except they're like kind of mafia gangs and there's like mini war type things happening. I don't know the details because I haven't played it but it's actually a result of Quinn Rosé and like Automate kind of coming together making it because originally there are other Alice games um, but it looks really quite interesting and it's separated into two parts I believe and the first part was released last year and I guess this is the second part now I don't know whether you have to play one to play the other or whatever but it's cool that they've announced that so now people know what's happening with you know that sort of thing the third one is 9RIP now this one I am so excited about <laughs> you don't understand when I saw the PV of 9RIP, I, I'm not joking, I was like jumping around with my left foot because my right foot is a bit funny right now, I've, I sprained it but that's a whole different story. Um, but I was jumping around, I was bunny hopping, I was screaming, I swear if people saw me they'd be like what is wrong with you? But I was so excited about this because it gives such like horror-esque vibes. Um, the art is by Yuya, the person who drew Cafe Enchante and Cupid Parasite, except they managed to make, like, really suit the theme of this Otome game, which is clearly, like, what, from the looks of it, a horror genre. The teaser kind of starts off with, you know, someone talking about being spirited away and how some people are more likely to be spirited away than others. And then I think this is how I interpreted it, but it almost sounded like a friend was like, do you know what spirited away, like, do you know what that kind of consists of? And like, apparently some people get spirited away more. Oh, by the way, um, I heard you're worrying about your career path. Are you okay? It almost sounds like a friend is talking to this girl. And then the next moment it like, zzz, and that's all static. And then it, she's like, oh my God, where am I? And I don't remember anything. And then it introduces the uh, love interest. But it's really like, it's so horror -y and really creepy and I think the love interests are creepy because the first, there, there are three types basically. The first um, two were like ghosts at school, one was a bloodthirsty killer or something and the other was called a uh, boy in the mirror and he has like a noose around his neck and looks really dodgy so I'm like okay this is like completely my cup of tea you know. The second bunch were um, urban legend mysteries and one was like the boy who can who looks at stars and the other I can't quite remember but they looked really cool too. And then the third was Ayakashi and one is Kokuri-san. Now Kokuri-san in Japan is basically the equivalent of the ghost that appears when you do a Ouija board so it's like the spirit that like answers your questions so that's 
that's Kokkuri san. And the other was a Zashiki Warashi, which is basically a yokai that kind of keeps your house kind of nice and clean. <laughs> But they're depicted in a really weird way. And uh, oh, yeah, there's the hell of, I mean, the um, guard of hell or something. I don't, I don't know. But like, they were all very dark. And uh, oh, I'm just, I'm just so excited. You don't understand. I don't know if it like shows through the screen, but like, I. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, and in the end, it says, which um, Anoyo will you end up with? Now, Anoyo is basically the world you end up in after you've died. So to me, it looks like the main character dies and ends up in another world. I'm not sure, but it's so right up my street that I just, okay, I need to take a breath. Okay, cool. Now let's move on to the next one. <laughs> I keep on going on and on about it based on like a 30 second clip. Next one is, um, oh yes, oh yes, oh my god, I think everyone's really excited about this. Shuen no Virushu, um, epic uh, Kurorisu. Now this is, oh, Rikorisu, Rikorisu I think, sorry, sorry. Shuen no Virushu, epic Rikorisu. And this is a fan disc of Shuen no Virushu. Now, Shuen no Virushu's Era Salvation is actually coming out in, you know, English sometime next year, I believe. So we were all really excited about it. And it's a game where it's all about despair. You've got this main character who's considered death god and, and like, you know, things happen around her and everyone doesn't like her. And it's like a love story between her and like one of their love interests, but it always goes downhill. And you have to do the bad, like tragic endings before you can even do the salvation ending. So it's basically a game that's like despair, despair, despair. And now the fan disc is released and it literally like basically says, instead of saying the path that leads to despair, it's like the path that leads to uh, salvation. So I don't know whether that we're going to get like a finally a happily ever after or how are they going to do this fan disc because each of the endings are pretty much like yeah that's it that's the ending so I don't know how they're going to make a fan disc out of it but I loved how they did the teaser because they use the music that you hear whenever the endings happen and of course they're all really tragic endings so you listen to the music and you really feel all like teary about all the endings that you've seen and then it shows you like basically that we're gonna get to see you know Celeste and her salvation maybe and everyone I think was like oh my gosh yes Celeste you deserve all the happily ever after <laughs> like type of thing and it almost made me like tear up I know I'm probably over exaggerating but that's how I felt so I was I, yeah I thought I thought that was really good actually I, th I think that's definitely so. I'm really looking forward to Nine R.I.P. and Shuen no Virushu Epic uh, Rikorisu. Those two are, I'm, I've got my eyes out and peeled for. The Switch Ports, uh, Senjo no Warutsu and Princess Arthur are another two that I'm uh, looking forward to. And then, yeah, I think I think my Swallow, my Nine Swallow, <laughs> my Nine Swallows, what was it? Like, every time I forget, right? My nine, <laughs> my nine swallows top stars league. There we go. That's it. I got it. Um, that's the one I'm like kind of not quite sure about. And then you've got the Alice of Land of Spades, which I'm kind of yeah. And another one that was actually kind of revealed a little bit. This wasn't so much a story and stuff. Was a project that's being worked on by Hanaichi Iwai and Namika Daisuke alongside Automate. So. Basically, Iwai san is actually the person who was responsible for the scenario of Kimi wa Yukima ni Koi Negau, or in English, um, what was it? Winter's Wish Spirits of Edo, which is coming out next year. Um, he's responsible for the scenario of that game. And then you've got Namika Daisuke, who is actually a voice actor, um, who, yeah, so. No, you know, normally if the voice actor is just the voice actor, they'll just say starring Namika Daisuke, right? But in this case, it's like Iwai san, Namika Daisuke, Otome uh, project, collaboration project, or whatever. And so it seems like it's an Otome game that's being come up with by, you know, these people, which is really interesting. I don't know how it's gonna, how it's gonna turn out, but yeah, so that's that. And last but not least, this is actually kind of additional information on what we already know. It's about, um, 
the game Tsuiteru Hime to Tsuiteru Kishi Dan was it Kishi? I can't remember. I'm just gonna call it Tsui Tsui like everyone else. But Tsui Tsui is about a main character who is able to detect when something terrible or bad is about to happen in the form of like a shine. And um, she is actually born with a birthmark, which means that she's kind of thought to be cursed and she's been living away from her family for ages. Now one day this power of course it comes into health in the sense that she sees these knights who are like glowing and glittering and um, she's like okay I'm gonna take them and you know I want them to be my guards type of thing and everyone else thinks that they're glowing and glittering because they're a bad or dangerous people but anyway I'm not sure how the story is gonna go along it's clearly a very classic um, Kind of fairy tale type story with you know knights and a princess and all this um so it looks quite fun actually i don't really know whether it's going to be a comedy or whether it's going to be a tragedy the fact that she it starts off with her being kind of like isolated from a family to me sounds like a little bit tragic but then the idea of like really unlucky knights with really lucky princess <laughs> i know i don't know the combination sounds quite fun if you know what i mean um so yeah and the additional information that was released uh was the voice actors that are going to be um voicing the characters and i think one that really stood out was Hurukawa Makoto um he is uh quite famous and has loads of fans so the fact that the poster boy is being voiced by Hurukawa Makoto is like a really exciting news for everyone and um, perhaps for you as well um but yeah so that kind of ends the Otome games that are announced for release. Uh, let me move on to some of the other bits and pieces that were announced. Yeah, I've got like a whole notebook here. <laughs> that was just so much info. <laughs> right, so one thing is that more games are added to Automate Collection. Automate Collection is a website in which there's like a bunch of stuff you kind of basically make a membership and you pay however much every month and then you can play all these different games for free and they're like browser based and easily accessible for many people and they've added a bunch of new ones to automate collection for people to experience next um thing is uh, what's it called a dessert de otome <laughs> I think, or Otofang, will be held next year in February, so that's something for everyone to look forward to. Another thing is that there was a Pio Fiore musical. Now this will be uh, made into a Blu-ray disc and sold so people can watch it at their homes as opposed to like feeling sad that they missed it. Um, another is that Hakuoki musical is going to be out in autumn which is kind of exciting for those who like Hakuoki. Unfortunately obviously it's in Japan so I can't join in with any of this stuff but hey again that's another story. <laughs> and Another musical that's going to be um, happening is Color Malice. This time it's going to be Shiraishi route, but the tragic route. So I'm curious to see how they're going to deal with such a tragic... Like, to those who have played Color Malice, I'm sure you know how tragic the bad endings are. So the fact that they're doing a musical on the tragic ending, I'm like, will everyone be able to handle that? <laughs> But yeah, so that's that. And last but not least, and I think everyone was probably the most surprised by this, is that Colum Malice will be getting a movie. So the reason why I say this is because so many years ago, it was said that there would be a Colum Malice um, anime, right? <laughs> And everyone was really excited about this and was really happy, but then it kind of never was updated, nothing was happening. So I think most of us are thinking like, is it just being scrapped? Is it not happening? Like what's going on type of thing. And so the fact that they announced a movie, we're kind of like, oh my god, so something is happening. And it's like, oh my god, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> And um, judging by the little teaser, I, I think, like, no one knows, but I saw it as it would be a movie based with, like, 
Aiji as the main kind of guy because um, obviously you can't focus on every single love interest so I feel like the movie will be more focused on uh, Aiji and the main character I think I'm not sure that take that with a grain of salt because I really don't know but that's how I saw it just because the teaser ha mainly had just IG and you know that was it type of thing so um that's how I took it and for those who don't know what Colin Malice is Colin Malice is about the main character who's a policewoman she one day gets kidnapped and a collar is placed on her um by the terrorist group that's been terrorizing Shinjuku which is where she lives in and is a policewoman in and um yeah it's it's all about her trying to get rid of this collar learning about the terrorist groups and it's kind of like a suspense um detective kind of otome game and i think many people have it in their favorites so you know a movie on that is really exciting and yeah call it it's great hopefully hopefully i'll somehow be able to uh watch it but yeah so i think that kind of summarizes and ends all the announcements so far let me quickly list them with my notebook because you know as i said pea brain here so you've got senjo no anzu and Princess Arthur being ported onto Switch. We've got My Nine Swallows Top Stars League. <laughs> Sorry, I'm proud I to say it all. Um, we've got that coming out. We've got Nine R.I.P. coming out. Um, Alice of the Spade of... Um, no, Alice of the Land of Spades Wonderful Black World is coming out. Uh, Versh Bandisk, so epic Likorisu. And the new project by Haraichi Iwai, um, Namidai, and Otome, which is a complete mystery. We haven't learned anything about that. And Tsuiteru Hime to Tsuiteru Kishi, so like Tsui Tsui. And then, so that's the games. The added info is more games added to Otome collection. Dessert the Otome will be held next year in February. The Afiyawada musical will be now coming out in Blu-ray in autumn. Hakuoki musical out in autumn. Colin Malice Shiraishi Tragic End musical will be in winter. And Colin Malice movie is going to come out as well. So that's kind of all the news that I can think of. <laughs> Which games are you guys most excited for? And what out of all this news are you most like hyped and surprised and all like, you know, I just want to know where what everyone's been most hyped about. From what I can see, it's primarily Colin Malice movie and nine RIP. Like I've been seeing nine RIP love interest images everywhere that I can <laughs> which I didn't play. I'm so hyper about it as well. Um But yeah, I don't know do let me know and um as is always the case thank you very much for watching remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and hopefully i'll see you in another one of my videos or streams bye